if you're coming from the United States, Canada, anywhere else in the world, and you haven't experienced Mexico's beauty, San Miguel de Allende should definitely be at the top of your list. Good afternoon, amigos, from San Miguel de Allende. In case you're new around here, we are two gringos that live in Mexico City. We decided to take a short four or five day trip to San Miguel de Allende. We are so glad we did. We are just getting our bearings with this city. We don't really know much about it, but uh, yesterday was our first day. We haven't gotten lost yet, so we may do that again today. But uh, I think first things that we found interesting is that uh, we believe that Mexico has spoiled us rotten. We're like any grandchild that you may know. Uh, in terms of the beauty of Mexico, we expected on our way into San Miguel de Allende that it was going to be beautiful, charming, of course we had seen photos, and it did not disappoint. But Mexico in general has set the bar so high in terms of charm, beauty, culture, food, people, and uh, we're nothing short of spoiled. So with that said, we're going to take our spoiled rotten selves around the city of San Miguel de Allende and we're going to explore with you guys we don't know anything about this city, so it's time to get lost together. <laughs> This church is absolutely beautiful, just like the rest of the city. I know we have said that time and time and again, but I don't know, Hill, but this might be the most beautiful city in Mexico that we have been to. What do you think? Uh-oh. <laughs> Some big words there. And I mean that, zero disrespect to any other place we've been to. Obviously, Vallarta is beautiful, Mexico City is beautiful, Guadalajara, Tlaquipaque, Mascota. Now, those are all the places we've been to, unfortunately. They're all beautiful in their own way. And I think every time we're in a new city, it's the most beautiful city we've ever been to. I will definitely admit to that. Uh, but San Miguel definitely has a charm of its own. Um, one thing I really like about this city is that at least, like the historic area seems pretty vast. So it's not like one or two blocks is really colorful and really charming. So far, everywhere we've walked in the city feels this way. And, uh, it's incredible. This city, again, absolutely beautiful. The only problem is the doors a little short. Not sure why this door is <laughs> like five and a half feet tall, or I guess shorter than that, or maybe about five and a half. Well, I'm standing on the door, here it is, but I think we could still make it work. <music> Hillary said at the beginning of the video, uh, but we're not lost. I don't quite know where we're at. But we're not lost. But we're not lost. small <laughs> that's a lie that's a <laughs> medium um, two scoop ice cream strawberry cone. and nutella what are your second impressions of san miguel <laughs> <laughs> um i love it what a, describe it for someone who's never been here how would you describe san miguel gotta go quick because this is melting <laughs> yes um it is very, very charming. I think we thought that Vallarta was the most charming place we'd ever see. And Vallarta is also charming, but so very different. Uh, here, every street is so charming. The streets were not made for cars. <laughs> it does so, not appear so. Although cars are in the streets, it's uh, 
it's nice to sort of stand in the middle of the street and gaze down them because uh, cobblestone Jeez. streets, um, it's beautiful. It's very quaint and charming, as overused as those words may be. <laughs> I feel like uh, we've wandered around a pretty big area of the downtown area and every street is just beautiful. And it feels very clean as well. It is immaculate here. I haven't seen one cigarette but literally, oh, well I jinxed myself. I jinxed it. <laughs> uh, it is no, a very clean city. It is really, really clean which is weird because I don't know where trash cans are but and that's not. we got to eat all this. the most beautiful city in Mexico or not, but it definitely tops the list uh, for most beautiful places we've seen. Sort of to bring uh, our thoughts today somewhat full circle, we'll say 350 degrees, because we're never quite there. Uh, I think I think Mexico has spoiled us and that our expectations for beauty, for food, for people, uh, for ambiance, if you will, um, the bar is set so high. So that said, if you're coming from the United States, Canada, anywhere else in the world and you haven't experienced Mexico's beauty, San Miguel de Allende should definitely be at the top of your list, if not number one. Uh, it's beautiful. We're having a blast. People watching, I think people are having a blast. People watching us. Uh, we're going to go check into the hotel now. Thank you guys. Good. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go check into the hotel now. Thank you guys so much for exploring with us on day two of San Miguel de Allende. Be sure and subscribe to our channel. Click the bell, that way you get notified. Got it, Ace. Post a video, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.